Wow, good morning world. Wow, wow, wow. Maria Vanga here, your psychotherapist on a two-week spiritual retreat, chiming in from Dwala to bring us updates because, well, my spirit says share those daily updates and so I do share them. Today is day five and um, I just finished my workout. Well, it was great. I wanted to do uh, 45 minutes. I did 50, so bonus five minutes because it's Friday. Okay. So, what's the sub theme for Friday? Contemplate rejection. Yeah, yesterday I talked about, I looked at acceptance. And so, it was logical that today be the opposite of acceptance, which is rejection. And what were the prompt questions? Um, what do you think of rejection? Um, have you ever been rejected? Have you ever rejected somebody? Um, how do you go about rejection? What have you learned from rejection? So, um, by grace, I've already done those reflections and I will just be, uh, you know, reflecting on the rest of the day and anything that comes up, I'm going to add because I'm doing my notes, right? So that I can always look back. I love doing those notes. You know, I'm a writer, so I love writing and all of that. Okay, so um, what do you think of rejection? Um, is it something good? Is it something bad? I... I didn't look at it from that angle. I looked at it from the perspective of having a right to reject because rejection for me is simply dismissing something, um, refusing something, right? Saying, I don't want this thing. It could be something, it could be somebody. Um, sometimes we think of rejection. Uh, the people I work with, they say, ah, I've been rejected, rejeté, rejeté, I've been rejected. You know, rejected by who? Maybe by significant other, by family. Um, and then, what do you think about that? Uh, should that put your life on hold? Should that make you feel like you're no more a human being? Those were the things I was looking at, and I just realized I've wasted so much time in my life thinking people can reject me. I think they do what they do, and I do what I do. I have to feel the way I want to feel, and for me, it could just be that, well, I'm not the person they were looking for, or what I'm offering is not what they needed or wanted. And so, well, the way they say no is their own way, but it's for me to interpret that or take it as I want and move on with my life. So, um, I mean, in the long run, when I look back at some of those things, I'm just like, wow, that was a blessing in disguise. So let's not lose our blessings because we are thinking that we are being rejected and all of those kind of things. And of course, if you are rejecting, um, how do you go about it? Do you just go somebody? You don't say nothing or stuff like that. Recently, I rejected an approach that somebody had to a relationship we were working on. And, um, well, I did send a good email, which was never replied. That's not my business, you know. And, uh, oh, no, I think it was replied in a kind of way, but that's their way. So I don't have nothing to say about that. I mean, I express myself, and that's what's most important. Um, yeah, so I'm also mindful of the fact that people um, have different sensitivities. Somebody's going to feel differently about it, but you cannot force somebody to accept everything and to accept you in their lives. And that's how a lot of abuse comes about because people are with people they don't want to be with or they don't know how to communicate all of that and they don't know how to reject something, you know, and all of that. So what have I learned from rejection? Well, mm, that's life, right? So life goes on. Okay. So that's what I wanted to share today. I don't want to go above four minutes until then. See you tomorrow. God bless us all.